Hi everyone, this is Douglas from CMSoft and I'm going to demonstrate an implementation of a support vector machine that Edmundo and I developed some time ago. This is just a demonstration of an, RB, an SVM trained with an RBF kernel which was designed to classify in a, in a high dimensional space. So when the linear data is separable it's possible to see how the choice of support vectors is made and in this case the, the decision boundary is almost linear and the support vectors get marked in, in, this, in this example but this, this kernel can also learn more complex hypotheses like this one or something even more sophisticated like this one I'm drawing here. What's interesting about this implementation, which is available online for free, both this example and the support vector machine code. Uh, what's interesting about this, this implementation is that we're using the classifier just out of the box and these are the results we get. We can then fine-tune. So it's, it's interesting for a first uh, approximation uh, when you face a classification problem to have just an off-the-shelf classifier like this and apply it and see what what kind of results uh, come come out so it's it also it can also perform multi-class classification like this and it's it's quite interesting to experiment with this thing these things and it's it's clear here that the support vector machine it, it aims for um, a classification with with a, a good margin let me add another class here we are using some fine uh, 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 parameter automatic parameter tune that we invented so the results are not fully deterministic it depends a little bit on the calibration of the kernel parameter so every time you train the SVM, you can get different results, like like it's happening in this in this in this set of of runs here. So it's it sometimes uh, doesn't give a very good hypothesis, and it sometimes does strange things like like this one. That's that's we attribute this to the very high dimensionality of the kernel um, but when the data is is more uh, well behaved the support vector machine does a very very good job in separating the data with a very interesting uh, high margin classifier now let me show an interesting example which was also which is also a classification problem that we did using our implementation of the of support vector machine which is to um, predict the MNIST training set we know that our our implementation is not up to par with with the highest performance implementations but since it's its performance we're using it just out of the box we think it's it's really interesting this result we got is, is quite interesting. So I've already trained the SVM and uh, loaded a different test set to test its accuracy and the results are, are not too bad at all. And what's interesting about this is that since we're using the GPU we can compute the kernels which are what takes the most time in, the, in training the support vector uh, machine uh, we use the GPU to speed up the computations and we get quite interesting results in terms of training time and, te and also test times. And these are some examples of classifications that we get uh, from the support vector machine and the test set. This rate down here is the highest the rate, the more confident the SVM is about its prediction. So, for example, it predicted this as a 4 with a very high confidence, as it predicted the 0. And we see that 
in the cases where it misses, for example, this one, the its confidence on that being a zero was not very high. <coughs> so this is what I wanted to to share with you. I I I expect comments, and I'd I'd really appreciate comments and. Thank, thank you very much for your time.